Today we are going to translate this image we have in Chinese to this new image in English. We are going to try two approaches with image translate and without. So let's go ahead and start with the approach using image translate. We start at the new project page, give it a title. Let's select our file which is Galaxy tab, then our source language is Chinese, target is English, let's just double check and say next. Sit back for a couple of seconds, let it process. Cool, processing is done and now we have a brand new image in English. Let's adjust a little sizing. Okay, there's some fixing needed here. Let's only convert the Chinese text. Now that's cool. Everything looks good. Let's go ahead and export this image. There is a new image from Chinese to English in 30 seconds. Now we will try to convert the same image using online tools. I am going to use OCR space for OCR, Google Translate for machine translation and a simple spreadsheet to store my translations. And uh, for the purposes of image editing, I will use GIMP which is a free tool. You can use Photoshop if you have it. Let's begin by choosing our file. There we go. Now we select the source language which in our case is Chinese simplified. Let's go ahead and say start OCR. Let's wait a couple of seconds. Great, the OCR is done. Uh, there's a problem right now that we do not know which text corresponds to which piece in the image. So we can use the overlay. This is how it looks, but it's still not very helpful. Luckily, this image is very small, so we know which lines correspond to which ones in the image. I will copy each of these lines now to my spreadsheet. Then my second line corresponds to the second line. We can skip the third line and straight away go to the fourth. Great, now we have all the source text. Let's go ahead and translate each of these using Google Translate. So that looks good. Let's copy it over. Let's take the second sentence now. So, uh, okay, let's first translate this. If you look at the translation, you'll notice that it's not the best one. And if you're a professional translator, you would obviously edit these translations before going ahead. The third translation is now on sale. Perfect. Let's copy that. And now we're ready to go ahead with image editing. So open up GIMP, then we'll choose our file. That's our file. Let's set the zoom to a correct level so it's easier to work with. Now uh, let's select the lasso tool. I will go ahead and now draw a region right around the text. So this has to be done very carefully. Once we're done with that, let's go to filters, then enhance and finally heal selection. So I'll leave the default values and say OK. So there it goes, it's erased the text. It hasn't done a very great job. Usually Photoshop context aware fill does a really good job at this. But obviously Photoshop is a much more expensive software and GIMP is practically free. Let's repeat this process for each of the text boxes that we have. So this is a tedious process as you can see. Again go to tool, filters, enhance and finally heal selection. Then the final box. Oops. Okay. There we go. So we've managed to remove all text from the source image. We can now put in translations on this. So let's start with creating a text box. In the first text box, we'll go this text 
from my spreadsheet i'll paste it here let me fix the alignment i'll center align it make it slightly bigger but still it doesn't seem perfect that's because the color is incorrect so let's just fix the color we'll make it black yeah that looks better let's create another text box and copy the second piece of text we'll do the same switch the color to black make it slightly bigger okay maybe a little smaller that's good and we'll fix the position we'll move it slightly upwards yeah that looks better cool and uh, let's put the final text box which is now on sale i'll just copy from here paste it there the color looks good let's just make it a little bigger yeah we may have to fix the position a little okay let's just zoom out now and see how it all looks okay that looks good let's go ahead and export our image i'll name it output.jpg and say export that's done let's go ahead and see how it work, turns out so that's our image finally converted from chinese to english ready to go